All right, I just had uh, breakfast. Just uh, checked out of the. Just had breakfast and checked out of the hotel. <clears throat> ready to hit the road, or maybe not ready. I came down. Uh, Decor is in this. Decor is in this huge valley, and uh, unfortunately, I know <laughs> that I have to climb out of it this morning. Uh, good news: very, very windy today. but it's supposed to be behind me the entire day so I'm really excited for that you know sometimes sometimes the bear eats you sometimes you eat the bear today I'm eating the bear um, overall nice nice stay last night I slept like a baby hey they even got bike hike and like us on the side so cool town I wish I had a little more time to Explore it. I'm sure I'll be back probably on car or by car. There's a lot of paths and trout fishing streams and that around here So I've just been putting off the inevitable and Climbing out of this. I think it's probably about a 500 foot elevation gain um, that I'm gonna have to climb up so Better just get it over with uh, I'll be taking roughly the same route back um, Little different roads uh, through one section, but um <clears throat> should have the wind at my back, so time to get going. Today is going to be my longest day too, I think we're just going to be about 56, 58 miles. So it's going to be a bit longer than I'd like in the hills, but it'll set me up for like a 40 miler tomorrow. Um, I do have a spot at, kind of scoped out at mile marker like 45 if I need to, but then I've got a very hilly 50 mile day the next day if I do that. So I'm gonna do everything in my power to take advantage of the tailwind and uh, do the 56, 58 miles today. This is definitely not my favorite hill for climbing. No shoulders, lots of traffic. I just had a fucking RV run me off the road. In a situation like this, I've, I watch every single car in my mirror, uh, and if they don't get over, then I immediately drive, I go into the, I go into the ditch, because there's not much uh, shoulder here. There's really no shoulder. So, I was pretty much riding the white line. There's two there's two lanes going up the hill so the slower vehicles can get in the right lane. Well, this RV that could see me for about a quarter mile away didn't slow down or speed up. There was a semi to the on the other side of him. Could have easily just slowed down, but instead just stayed in the lane. If I was there, I would have been run over. So I saw he wasn't moving. There was no way for him to get out. So I got off the road. 
So I really don't like roads without shoulders, um, especially busy ones, unless it's some, you know, single lane country road or something like that. But yep, you just gotta keep an eye out. You gotta be defensive. Sucks, I'm almost at the top of this hill too. So I think I'm just gonna walk up to the top because there's absolutely no shoulder right here. This is just some gorgeous riding. Sweet tailwind behind me. Nice view. Just pa past the little town of Frankville. Had a pretty cool uh, old historic schoolhouse there, made out of stone. It's really starting to open up. So I got the wind behind me. Uh, I think I'm headed to, is it Winona next? About 10 miles away, making good time. Already uh, 20 miles in, so what, like 36, 38 left? Not bad. So I'm gonna keep trucking along and hopefully this wind keeps staying behind me. I'm headed back towards the Mississippi River. Uh, I'm back on the uh, I'm back on the Great River Road, and uh, it's supposed to be a good shoulder. So, looking forward to it. Uh, about 36 miles down, uh, 20 left to go. So, and it's not even two o'clock yet. So, I'm making good time. Uh, there's one more town, and then I'll be camping out in the boonies. Um, there's a primitive camp free campsite. So, as long as it's not flooded up. So, I'm going to get trucking. Got to find a place to go to the bathroom. It's a busy road. But check this thing out. It's this little, little park in this town of National, which is, I think, two houses. There's this tower. Pretty cool. There's such a nice breeze today. I think I'm gonna just hunker down in the shade for a couple minutes. Very cool. I wish you could go inside of it. Just stopped in the last town, uh, got some water and uh, beer for the evening. I'm headed uh, down to the Mississippi uh, where I'll be camping. Uh, there's not any towns or anything, so that was the last stop. Uh, I'm about 10 miles away. I don't remember the name, the town was Garnavio or something, but everyone seemed to be pissed off at that town. I couldn't get out of there fast enough. People were not polite behind the counter. Uh, I had some dude honk at me. It's the first time anyone's honked at me this whole trip. I mean, I was in the shoulder, wasn't in his way whatsoever, and he just played on the horn. So, I don't know. Some people are assholes, I guess. But, 
not gonna let that bother me. So yeah, I'm headed out into the country again, which feels nice. Oh yeah, I also had a an entire houseboat pass me, an extra wide load. Uh, they were very nice. The lead truck was letting me know that it was coming, but uh, it was freaking huge. It took up like both lanes almost. It was ginormous. So I just pulled off on the shoulder and let it pass, but pretty cool. I didn't get to catch it on film because uh, I was going too fast. Mississippi River Trail. Pretty nice. You can see the valley on the other side of the Mississippi from here. huge quarry over here just like mined in this mined the whole side of the hill crazy I could see that quarry when I was on the uh, the other side of the Mississippi I was over in Wisconsin I could see it off in the distance didn't realize I was gonna go right past it crazy all right I'm getting close gotta be within about a mile or so So I made it. It's uh, 58 miles total today. I'm gonna do this when there's not a train going by. All right, I made it. Uh, 58 miles total today. That's a train back there squealing. Um, it's not a bad day actually. I started just after eight o'clock and got here at a little before four. I was making some good time. I did have a tailwind, but there was a lot of hills. So, I mean, there were only a couple sections where that really, really even mattered. Um, it's not that flat around here, obviously. It's the driftless area, but uh, I'm the only one here. Uh, there's no bathrooms or running water, but I, I had planned for that anyway, just in case. Um, but looks freshly mowed. I'm the only one here. There's one pavilion. I'm just kind of setting up camp in here, uh, drying out my rain fly. The inside of it was wet from uh, from yesterday or from the day before. So it should should dry out. Oh shoot! I want my tent tipping over. Last time my tent tipped over, I broke a tent pole. In my other tent. Anyway, I'm gonna get settled in here and uh, just relax. Today was the longest mileage I had, almost 60, 58, um, and made it here at four. So <laughs> there was a couple days that were 40 miles that I didn't make it until sundown. 
but um, and I even stopped a couple places and rested but feeling really strong in the bike one more day tomorrow a lot more hills because I'll be literally on the Mississippi um, until Dubuque where I'm gonna pick up my truck and then drive two and a half hours back home so I'm gonna enjoy tonight I got a beer I got a book uh, plenty of water so I'm just gonna relax